Hi everyone, here is another math riddle sent to us by one of our followers. Here is the riddle. A 300-foot train traveling at the rate of 300 feet per minute must go through a tunnel that is 300 feet long. How long will it take the train to travel through the tunnel? Let's visualize this riddle. This is a 300-foot train and this is a 300-foot tunnel. The goal is for the train to fully emerge to the other end of the tunnel. Our goal is to know how long will it take for the train to travel through the tunnel. Letter A, one minute. Letter B, two minutes. Or letter C, three minutes. You can pause the video and see if you can solve this math riddle. And if you already know the answer to this riddle, please write them in our comment section. Now let's answer this riddle together. So let's simulate this train going through the tunnel. And here is our simulation. Let's repeat it. If our point of reference is the back of the train, notice that this point must travel all the way to this point in order for the train to fully emerge to the other end of the tunnel. And so this red arrow represents the total distance traveled by the train. On the other hand, if our point of reference is the front of the train, notice that this front of the train must go through all the way up to this point in order for the back of the train to emerge outside the tunnel. So in both ways, the distance traveled must be 300 plus 300 equals 600 feet for both the red and the purple distances representing the distance traveled either by the back of the train or by the front of the train. And so contrary to the intuition of many students where they think of the distance traveled to be 900 feet, the answer to this problem is not three minutes, but rather two minutes. The train will travel one minute to cover the first 300 feet and another minute to cover the remaining 300 feet. So our final answer is two minutes. Now for our bonus question, here is another riddle. Eggs are 12 cents a dozen. How many eggs can you get for a dollar? You can pause the video and see if you can answer this bonus question. Now let's analyze this together. If eggs are 12 cents a dozen, and since a dozen has 12 pieces, that means that each egg costs one cent. And since one dollar has 100 cents, then you can buy 100 eggs for one dollar. Each egg cost a penny. And this is our answer to this bonus question. So thank you very much and we hope to see you again in our next video. Bye for now.